All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. I will talk about the depth sources and the new features we have implemented since, since last year. So I made a talk at DevConf last year, and we made a lot of changes since then. Better? So I will first introduce depth sources quite shortly, because I guess a lot of people here know it already. It's hosted at sources.debian.net. You can try it out while I do the talk. Then the new stable features that were announced last year now work. So patch tracker and copyright tracker. And what we are currently doing is a mobile version of Deep Sources. So that's sources.debian.net. Basically, it allows you to bruise all the source code of all Debian packages ever. They are all archived. And you can bruise through a web interface. You can also search the source code. If you have code search .net, that will re redirect you back to, back to depth sources. We also provide some statistics about source code that I will present you in a minute. So that's the basic interface. You can, you can view COSEI, the, the syntax highlighted code source. And for instance, the number of source lines of code in package. So on the left, you see for the Linux kernel, uh, all the C code, all the XML, C++, etc. code, number of lines. And we also provide some suit statistics. So you can see the evolution of the millions of lines of code. So for unstable, there is a lot, uh, way more than stretch. That's because we have uh, many versions of Chromium, kernel, etc. that add up. So last year at DevConf, we were developing a patch tracker and a copyright tracker. Well, now everything works fine, thanks to our previous GSOC student, Orestis. I will present this. Uh, you can treat out sources.debian.net slash patches. It replaces the old patch tracker that disappeared. So it looks like this. For any package, you can bruise the patches that are applied. You can see all the, all the difference on, on, the, on which files they are applied. And you can bruise the, bruise the patch, syntax colorized too. Second feature, the copyright tracker. So for <coughs> copyright possible files, we present all the licenses and all the files on which files they, they are applied. So it looks like this. Basically, you can, you can bruise all the, all the files and see the license. So that's for Firefox. You can see Mozilla Public License or GPL 2.3. And you can scroll to actually read the licenses that are applied. Uh, restrictions. We need machine, machine passable data, data for this. So it only works currently with the 3.0 quilt version of patches. And we need machine passable Debian slash copyright. So if, if it's not passable for your package, please add it. We need it. Now, go mobile. So I've heard a lot of people got this kind of devices nowadays, so we really need to go mobile. You can, you can have the source code in your pocket. Raise your hands if you're bored in the, in the metro. We'll also get a fancier design. <coughs> with a, we use the bootstrap framework, so it's quite nice, but still links compatible, don't worry. And we will add new features. So, we had a problem. Previously, it looked like this. It's not really handy. <coughs> it looks like nothing. And it was a bit annoying to, well, scroll, scroll zoom in, zoom out on your, on your package. So that's work in progress, and it will look like this. It actually already does, but not for, not for, not for every page. In browser edition of files, so last year, Raphael Geissert implemented a Chromium and Firefox plugin to allow the addition of files directly in your, in your browser. So I can show you a demonstration of this. So that's a random file. And you, you get an, an edit button. So you can change this. Uh, diff edit. And you can email a patch directly. So you can edit any file in any Debian package and email the patch to the maintainer. 
It's very useful to correct typos quite fast. Uh, but currently, it requires the plugin we wanted integrated natively in the sources for desktop and mobile. So you can actually, you will be able to patch Debian from your phone from anywhere. Uh, the current, current status, it's work in progress. We have a GSOC student who is working on this, uh, Aaron Delaney. If you want to help, patches are always welcome, of course. Well, that's all. It was a bit short, but we have time for questions and discussion. Thank you. What is the plan for Sources Debian Org? Uh, there is a discussion about this with uh, DSA. Uh, I'm not in the email loop. Uh, Stefano Zakiroli is taking, taking care of this. Uh, I think it should appear. I, I don't really know. I, I hope so. Work in progress. Thank you. So the edit in place that uses report back as backend, and it requires the user That's to set up a local mirror server and configure it. Uh, to edit the files? Yes. No, you just need a browser, and you can edit files but in your browser. Then you generate a diff that you can download and email yourself, or just click the email button. Yeah, but, but the, the email functionality requires a locally set up uh, server, right? Uh, no, it will, it will just open your email client. I can do a question if we have time. <laughs> um, how do you see, so I missed the beginning of the talk, so maybe you address this, but how do you see this fitting with code search on one side and snapshot Debian org on the other side? Shouldn't uh, this all be a single uh, big service? Yes, it should be possible, if, but we don't have the same database as code charts. That's really, uh, I, I don't know how it works, but they have a big da database of all the C tags in unstable that we don't do. But I guess yeah, it could be manageable with the snapshot. I don't know. I don't know how it works. That's a good idea. Did you have trouble uh, with uh, accessibility on sources.debian.net? Or do you know whether it's fully accessible? Because I recently got the bug reports that some bootstrap features are not I, accessible. I saw this for, for Tracker. Uh, and we never got any, any bug reports for this. So we try to make some nice HTML5 accessible. Um, I, I don't know. I'd like some reports of, of people. But with the new mobile version and the new mobile slash desktop version, it should be cleaner, so more accessible. Thank no you, everyone. Okay. Thank you for the speaking. Okay.